All right, what do we got here? Quick video about battery packs and chargers. So over here, I've got an old Xantrex Jazz Power Pack, uh, Jazz 300C. And, uh, you know, it's got the usual fluorescent light on one end. You can plug in some jumper cables. And on the other end here, you've got the uh, regular 12-volt cigarette out lighter output. And it's got a built-in 300-watt inverter in this thing with a fuse. Okay, it's also got a uh, little power indicator on the front here. Let's you know it's charged up. And on the back, I'm taking the cover off to show you what I put in here. I got a replacement battery off Amazon for this thing, and it's your standard 18 amp hour. And uh, these are about, I think, $35, $40, something like that. They're just bolted in here in the back, and uh, you know, goes up to your uh, charger inputs on there. Now, when the battery runs down in this pack, there's a couple different ways to charge these kind of things. So, most of the time, these packs come with a uh, little plug-in adapter that will go into a little port on here. And these take quite a long time to charge this thing up. Now, the safest way to charge this, another way, is to put a plug in to the cigarette lighter plug on here. So, just like you can get power out of this via the cigarette plug, a charger will put power back in using the same plug. You just stick it in there, hook it up to your charger, and let it go. Now, if for some reason you do not have a little charger that has that kind of adapter, you have to use regular clips like this, regular battery clips, you know, on a normal battery charger. Take off the rear cover and hook up to your positive and negative directly. Just clamp right on there and charge it up that way, put the cover back on. You know, that's if you're missing everything else to go in here. Now, what we're going to wind up doing is, today, I'm going to make sure this thing's fully charged with my charger, and then I'm going to run this fluorescent light over the workbench. And this uses T8 bulbs in here, T8 fluorescents, and uh, they're 32 watts each. So, we're going to be running like 64 watts of lighting off the inverter on this, and I'm going to show you how long you can run a light fixture like this directly off this 18 amp hour jumper pack. Now, a couple words about the battery charger. Um, most of the time in stores around America, you're just going to find a really simple battery charger with just uh, clips like this on the end of it. And you will find some that come with a cigarette lighter adapter, such as this, um, but they're kind of few and far between. Um, also, a lot of times, if you get a small charger like this, they're only like one or two amp or something like that. They're called a battery maintainer, and that's all they can do. You know, they're limited to just maintaining, you know, different batteries and stuff like that. Usually, you know, kind of on the small side, like lawnmowers, motorcycles, that kind of stuff. Now, this one here that I have is a uh, expensive C-Tech. This is $105 for this, plus you got to buy the uh, cigarette lighter optional for $10. Now, these are designed in Sweden, made in China, and this is a really, really nice battery charger. These put out 6 amps, and they'll charge up to a 154 amp hour battery, so they'll do a large battery. This one is only 18 amp hours in here, so this will do, you know, quite a large setup. Um, also, it, this one has a couple extra modes on it, too. They make a smaller version of this, but I wanted to use this for some specific reasons. It has a power supply mode, which most don't have. When you switch it into that power supply mode, it provides six amps of power. You hook up the cigarette lighter plug, put it into your vehicle, and this will provide power to a modern car, uh, enough so that you can pull the battery from the vehicle and switch another one in without uh, messing with any of the internal electronics. Because some cars nowadays, you need this supply mode um, you know, before you pull the battery. Uh, you know, because otherwise the computer will, you know, lose power and weird things happen. Uh, most of the cars, though, you can just, you know, disconnect the battery temporarily and hook it back up without a problem. But this, um, you know, sets you up so that you don't have to worry about that. And you can do the battery replacements, you know, in the fancy cars. So that's another reason why I got this. Also, um, this one here will show you if the battery is bad. And it also shows you the four stages of charge all with little LEDs. So, you know, it, it tells you, you know, heading up 
you know, what's going on, and then it shows your bulk charge right here for as long as it takes to get the battery charged, and then it'll step down into the maintenance mode up here. So that's how you know it's charged when it finally goes into maintenance mode. So, you know, it's pretty simple. It doesn't have a volt, volt display or anything like that, but um, it will tell you what mode it's actually in and uh, what's going on. Plus, this thing's also, uh, it's a plastic casing, but it's pretty nice and it's uh, waterproof too. So, uh, even uh, all the connectors here have uh, O-rings on them. So, I'm going to use this to get this pack up to uh, full power. Okay, so, don't need these. And this comes with a, uh, you know, nice connection here. Nice quick release type setup. And the end of this has a nice locking adapter so it'll fit, uh, I would assume, some European plugs and or yeah, maybe some on motorcycles too and uh, clicks on, you've got a nice full size one here for you know your standard cigarette lighter and uh, that's real nice, so locks right on there. So I'm gonna go in through the cigarette lighter plug Just, you plug the charger into your regular outlet come over here, get your green light Press mode to normal, and here we go. And we're going to watch it go through its stages here. And this is going to take a little while, even though it says the battery's full, um, because it goes through a you know a thorough check of everything. So we'll come back later. We're now all charged up over here. So I'm going to turn the charger off. You can hear the cooling fan on in here now, and uh, it's powering the light fixture. So now we're going to see how long will this thing run until we hear the low battery alarm on this pack. Okay, we now have a large, loud screeching alarm coming out at 2 hours and 14 minutes. eighteen amp hour jumper pack battery two hours and fifteen minutes of a four foot shop light that's the runtime you'll get out of one of these things and these are not entirely light yeah, that's, a, that's a good chunk of something so next is How long will it take to recharge with the SeaTac? So we're fully charged here, and it's in uh, you know float uh, or maintenance mode on the charger, and it took five hours, twenty-three minutes to get this pack charged back up with a real charger. So. This charger is a 6 amp charger going into here. So you've got 6 amps of power going back in. The little uh, power adapters that come with these things, some of these are like 700 milliamps. And they say in the instruction manuals for a lot of these jumper packs that if you plug it into the wall, it's going to take 72 hours to charge. So it'll be 3 days charging with this little thing versus 5 hours with a real charger. Of course, you know, those are $105 in the US right now. And, uh, you know, the pack is going to be $100 for something like this with an 18 amp hour battery. And, uh, you know, you'll just have to go from there. So, yeah, you'll have to make the call on this uh, depending on your budget and how much you're willing to uh, spend and how quickly you need a pack like this recharged. Um, if you're just having a pack sit around for, you know, an occasional emergency, having a little, uh, you know, the little wall power brick there, um, I mean, that's fine. It'll keep the pack topped up and everything like that ready to go at all times. Um, although, you know, these come in handy for a lot of different things, especially if you have uh, larger packs and stuff, which we'll get into in another video. You know, that's a whole other whole other ball game. But I normally charge a lot of big batteries, so, you know, I need something like this to, uh, you know, occasionally get them up to speed pretty quick. So, now another comparison here. Um, 
This jumper pack right here with an 18 amp hour battery was able to run a 4 foot fluorescent light fixture, 64 watts, for 2 hours 15 minutes. Now this is a uh, laptop here, uh, Hewlett Packard from like around 2007. It's a 14 inch screen model. If you look at your power brick that comes with this really closely, and I don't know if it'll show in here because it's so small, down here it says this thing puts out 65 watts to the laptop. So this laptop and this light are pretty equal. Uh, so you can run a laptop off of an 18 hour jumper pack like this for about two hours. That's all you're going to get. And you know, if you have a good charger, it's going to take you five hours to recharge that. So there you go. There's the uh, long and short of this situation. I've got a better video coming up uh, that's going to show larger packs and talk a little more about different chargers and things like that. So uh, until then.